So I've been uh, watching the Walking with the Wounded uh, <clears throat> climbers doing a little uh, video diary, so I thought I would do a little video diary myself. It's um, well, about 4 o'clock here. I just called home, got uh, kind of waiting for the satellite phone to regain the signal. But I'm looking up at the Lotse face. So there's lines of people up there. No, we're not up there. Um, too dangerous. There's lots of rock fall going on. And so right now it's uh, we're getting ready to spend our sixth night at Camp 2, so a little bit over 20, 21,000 feet. So it's been pretty incredible. I started off with you know, climbing up through the Kumbu Ice Fall, um, which you know read about, heard about, seen movies about. Um, Climb through two little avalanches while we were in it. Could feel, you know, kind of the dust from the first avalanche, uh, which was, you know, strange, eerie, wild. You know, I just kept climbing. Got to Camp One, long slog to Camp Two, um, but it's just amazing, you know, and to continue to hang out here and acclimatize. I certainly had hoped to be able to get to. Uh, you know, camp three. Um, but I think, you know, I'm feeling strong. I'm not sick yet. Still expecting it to come sometime. Um, but it is just amazing to be here. So very thankful. Um, and most of the team is actually recovering. They've been here so long. So that's been a very good thing. So kind of with mixed feelings, you know, headed back down through the ice fall that um, we didn't fully acclimatize at three, but I think we'll be okay. And now we're really waiting for some weather to cover up the Lotse face um, in order for us to be able to, um, you know, really get the rock fall to stop. So it's probably a combination of wind and some snow that, that turns really hard, that just hardens up the face. So we'll see. Now we wait uh, once we get back down. So um, it's been nice to be able to call back home to <clears throat> different folks um, and so I'm going to give that a go right now. See ya.